Back here in our hometowns, a group of safety advocates are working to make sure firearms don't fall into the wrong hands. Roanoke's Gun Violence Prevention Commission came together today to talk about strategies to stop the violence. WDBJ 7's Amaya Howard is tracking the latest data on the shootings in the Star City. Tuesday night's gun violence prevention meeting shows their efforts are working. The data shows that gun violence is down 57% from last year, with six homicides so far in 2024. However, for Chris Roberts, that number is still high. Chris Roberts is the coordinator for Roanoke's Youth and Gang Violence Prevention Program. He works directly with At Youth Risk to help them stay safe. In the summer of 2023 was one of the bloodiest summers we've had with some of our clients being deceased. So what we had to do was evaluate our program and ask ourselves, where we put most of our time at in 2022. Roberts decided to shift their focus, putting more emphasis on one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Some of those low hanging fruits that need help as well in our community and need somebody to give them some attention and some support. To connect with the teens, the Youth and Gang Violence Prevention Program created Hoops for Hope to give the teens a safe outlet. That support led to five of these once at-risk teens to secure collegiate basketball offers. Roberts believes these types of individual programs will make a difference in Roanoke's gun violence, but there is still work to be done. In studio, Amaya Howard, WDBJ7.